Welcome to Rikers, Mr. Castle. Accommodations to your liking? I'm uh, Detective Soap. This is Lieutenant Richtofen. Quite a time you've been having lately, eh, Castle? How many people have you killed in the last few weeks? Not sure. There were a lot of explosions. <coughs> and what were you doing in the Takagi building last night? Okay, let's go back to the beginning and see where the trail of mangled bodies leads us. A lawyer's been appointed for you, by the way. Let's chat while we wait for him. So take us back three weeks. You're in the neighborhood crack house doing what exactly? Taking a bite out of crime, apparently. What was the body count again? Get the fuck out of the road, asshole! New York City. Forget the things you've heard about the place. About the... New New York. Hell's Kitchen is called Clinton. Park full of tourists. But it's not real. The old New York is waiting just below the surface. There's nothing to help you when the darkness falls. You're laid open so the world can rummage in your guts. Just because the mayor chased away the monsters. Chased them to Brooklyn and the Bronx. Don't think this place has changed. Not in its heart. Not where it lives. Do not fall in New York City. No one's gonna catch you. So, 70 plus bodies, lots of broken windows, and a building now fit only to be condemned. A tragedy of epic proportions, most would say. A pleasant evening at the office for you, though, right? Then you're walking home patting yourself on the back for a job well done when some asshole tries to run you over. Some people just have no respect for human life. You noted the license plate ASM-129, but never reported it to the police. They don't bother hunting down murderers, let alone bad drivers. But someone helped you trace the plate, didn't they? So, you found the car was registered to an auto repair shop on 96th Street. It was a chop shop that dealt in stolen cars. A charge the owner's lawyers vehemently deny, by the way. Though the owner himself no longer seems to be among the living. A hundred cars a day are stolen in New York. Most are brought to chop shops and taken apart in 30 minutes. Parts are untraceable, sold to repair shops everywhere. It's a dirty business run by scum. Carjackers are the worst. A woman was ripped out of a red convertible last night and shot dead. So chop shops are on my mind, especially this one. Plates on the car that almost ran me down. I traced here. Thought I'd pay you a visit. supposed to be dead. I've heard that before. Be my guest. The new cheese, Carlo. Why are they here? What's the connection? Please! I just take orders from Bobby Nucci. Don't hurt me. Let's talk outside. 
It's getting kind of close in here. No! Please! Carlo Duca was just a little floater in the Nucci Bowl. Killing this operation will put a dent in the Nucci's finances. Kiss Ma off to no end. All in all, a good night. My favorite bar. And Bobby Nucci has to hold court here tonight. Shit! If only you'd come to me earlier, Tony, maybe I could have helped you. But as it is... Mr. Nucci, please! It'll never happen again, I swear! Stay calm, don't look at them. Don't look, stop sweating! Damn it, Castle. This was my favorite bar. Punisher's on his way. Please. Everybody's in place. Who's the girl? She's bait. Get ready. <laughs> so, now you're going head to head with the Nucci Crime Syndicate. You hit their alleged drug running operations in the chop shop. Then you tracked down Bobby Nucci in Lucky's bar and killed him. That upset Bobby's mom for some reason. So she had Bushwhacker grab your friend Joan and lead you a merry chase through the Central Zoo. Then you decided to crash Bobby's funeral. Most people crash parties. You crash funerals. But I guess funerals are kind of like parties for you. Right, Frank? You have no idea what funerals are like for me. The whole Nucci clan's gathering for Bobby's funeral. As good a place as any to hit them. With any luck, I'll get everyone from Ma on down. That's her car pulling up now. Tell the boys that Ma's here. Should we bring in Bobby's casket now? Show some respect. Wait till the old lady's seated. It's a shame I could kill you only once, Bobby. The rats can hold a little funeral of their own. They're ready. Bring in the body. And hey, assholes, try not to drop it this time. Shit, no. Might have our balls for that. Damn, this thing's heavy. They shipping coke in Bobby's box, too? Hey, waste not, want not. Ma's not exactly sentimental, you know. Shut up, assholes. Show some respect. I want to see my boy. Open it up. No, Ma, you can't. He's all tore up. That bastard! I'll kill him! I'll rip him apart with my bare hands! 
Calm down, Ma. We're all emotional here. I'll show you emotional, you little shit! I'll rip your balls off and feed them to the dogs! Tony, Vinny, get over here! Ma's overcome by her grief. Escort her back to the mansion. Punisher? That bastard! I'll kill him, I swear it! Come on, Ma. We'll go to the mansion, torture those two guys in the basement, and you'll feel better. Any last words, Eddie? My Ma will never rest until you're dead! <sighs> Hell of a funeral, Frank. Hey, it, it was like one of those Egyptian things, where they kill all the Pharaoh's servants so they can serve him into the afterlife. Just like that, Soap. Except these guys were all overdressed for the place they'll be spending eternity. Hey, yeah. Uh, mm, uh, back to the Nucci's now, Frank. Not content with killing both the Ma Nucci's sons and hundreds of her business associates, you felt the need to kill her too. That's too bad. You and Ma would have made a nice couple. So let's talk about what happened the next night at the Nucci's estate. Is Ma, her hired assassin bushwhacker, dozens of Nucci soldiers... And you, Frank. Keepers finally let you out of the zoo? Just shoot yourself and save me the bullet. Smile, Castle! You're gonna see your family again! Didn't know Ma could read. Wondered if you'd have the guts to show up again. Your guts will be showing up all over this room, Castle! He's got so much hardware in him, someone will patch him together again. Have to make a hole too big to patch. That should do it. You bastard! What are you doing? Disarming you. smile much. Don't smile ever. But if I did, this would be one. So you cleaned out the Nucci drug operations. <laughs> Hooray! All the city's problems solved with the proper application of bullets. Said the drugs didn't stop flowing, did they, Castle? The Nucci's had other ways of getting drugs from the city docks and out onto the streets. It's just like Ulysses fighting that lion in Roman legend. Chop off one head, and two more appear! Soap, that's Hercules fighting the Hydra, and it's a Greek legend. Yeah, whatever. It, it's still a good metaphor. Analogy. Whatever! Anyway, when the drugs kept flowing, you decided to investigate the docks for yourself. You found out some new boys were in town, didn't you, Frank? And a new girl, too. Ready? Ladies first. Shit!
sorry. They wouldn't wait. The nuclear device also will not wait. There are two Russian freighters arriving tomorrow night. The device is on one of them. Which, I do not know. One ship for each of us. You investigate the Igor Baltiski. I will take the Red Guardian. The Russians are looking to do a little nuclear blackmail. New York could stand some purging, but not like this. Need to sink that ship before it gets into the harbor. Brought enough C4. Just need a planet in the right places. Haven't been spotted yet thanks to the fog. Can't count on that any longer. Let's see who's awake upstairs. This changes things. Smuggling in women to feed their prostitution rings. Can't blow up the ship until I get the women out. These guys just went to the top of my list. Vi. Welcome to America. So you and the Black Widow hit the Russians hard. Any idea where the Black Widow is now, Frank? On vacation. Yeah, anyway. You wiped out the Russian facilities on the docks, including a tank they'd somehow smuggled past Homeland Security. And then you intercepted an incoming Russian freighter and blew it right out of the water. What were you doing there? Looking for someone. Someone named Krikov Castle? General Krikov? Here's one nasty customer. Bloody red smear in every intel database known to man. You must have really pissed him off, Frank. Ripping through his Russian mercs like that? This stuff ringing any bells? Krikov? Grand Nixon Island? Not very good with names. Remember bodies, though. Well, Krikov sent one hell of a body after you, didn't he? Now why would you just open your apartment door without first checking to see who was there? Need to rearm before hitting the Merc's base. Damn, Joan must have made another batch of cookies. Hello, big boy. Dosvidanya. That's not good. And he was gone, just like that? Man, I'd hate to meet him in a dark alley. You might though someday, Frank. Krikov sent the Russian after you. So, you decide to settle with Krikov. Where did you find a pilot dumb enough to fly you out to Grand Nixon Island, Frank? Well, you found someone. Then you bailed out over the island. I understand you ran into an old friend. Grand Nixon Island isn't on any tourist maps. It's like a waiting room for hell. 
Hold together, baby. Hold together. Kriegkov's brought the worst of Russia together in one place. Special forces, mercs, hitmen, sadists and killers. Every one. None of them are going to save him. He sent the Russian to hit me at home. Now it's my turn. Will we reach Grand Nixon before this thing falls apart? You betcha. This baby's a lot sturdier than she looks. Level off at 3,000 feet. You're the boss, big guy. Just about at 3,000 now. Thanks for flying Hackett Air. Watch that first step. What is the damned holdup? Pull your head out of your ass and get that missile active! Sir, the procedure takes time. If that nuke isn't armed in 30 seconds, I'm gonna use you as a condom! I'm gonna puzzle it! Get your asses in here! Damn! I'll take fat ass, you find that nuke! Off. It's clobbering time! Favorite saying of Ting, Rockman of the Fantastic Four, big superhero in Russia! Can it! The Punisher's coming! You handle him while I arm the nuke! Okie dokie, boss. The Russian is on the case. And don't screw up again, or I'll have your head ripped off and mounted on my wall! Now, this time the Russian finishes the job. believe he let me live. You set off that nuke? The official story is that it was a planned French test on an uninhabited island. It's uninhabited now. And Nick Fury helped you detonate the device? Colonel Nick Fury? No. He was unconscious. Kriegkoff activated the missile. I made sure it stayed on the island. So, you guessed that both the Nucci's and Russians were part of Wilson Fisk's criminal empire? Alleged criminal empire. Yeah, 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 that's what I meant. Yeah, anyway, you connected the bloodstains and concluded he was behind all that. After all, who else could be controlling the Nucci's and Russians, dealing drugs, weapons, and slaves? Who but the kingpin of crime? Alleged kingpin of crime, Soap. So, you decided to pay Fisk a visit. Hmm. 
<laughs> Thought you'd never get here, Castle. Looking for someone. Where's Kingpin, Bullseye? The big guy can't see you now, Castle. But I've made room for you in my schedule. Get out of the way. Or what? You'll scowl me to death? I don't miss, you know. Too bad you can't say the same. Hard to miss a guy with a target on his forehead. <laughs> so, Bullseye failed me again. Tossed him out the window. You're planning the same fate for me? No, you would have to roll. You think I'm behind these attempts on your life? And you're not. Well, that's a relief. You've been duped. Someone is using you to weaken me. He or she pointed you at my Nucci and Russian organizations, and you've obediently taken them out. You're just mad because you have to post more help wanted ads in the papers. I must deal with this attack. We have a common enemy. It is in both our interests to find him and eliminate him. Sit down. Hurry up! Nice disguise. Subtle. Inconspicuous. Yeah, it might be funny to you, but I'm dead if they find out I talked to you! So tell me something worth dying for. Kingpin was telling the truth. He's not behind any of this. It's Jigsaw. I left my scorecard at home. Who's Jigsaw? I don't know. All I know is that his face is damaged somehow. Like, it's all cut up. That's why the nickname. There's a Yakuza gang. The Eternal Sun. Moving in on the Nucci and Merck's operation you'd cleaned out. And? guy named Takagi heads the gang, but Jigsaw's become his lieutenant somehow. He's leading the strikes on the other gang's territories. Find out who Jigsaw is and where he'll strike next. I can't dig anymore. They'll find out. Do it. I need to know. So, Fisk told you he wasn't behind it. You believed Mr. Fisk? Of course you did. You were Hold it right there. Anything my client has said without his attorney present is inadmissible. Mr. Castle, don't say another word. Too late, Murdoch. Go home. Mr. Castle, as your attorney, I strongly- I don't need a lawyer. You're fired. Mr. Castle, this is very ill advised Objection noted and overruled. Well, nice of him to stop by. Where were we? We were talking about the Kingpin claiming Frank had been duped. Did you believe Mr. Fisk's claims? The fat guy seemed sincere. So you now believe that someone manipulated you into attacking Fisk's business associates? For what purpose? To weaken Fisk's criminal empire. Uh, alleged criminal empire. And make it ripe for a takeover. And you believe this Jigsaw guy and a Yakuza gang called the Eternal Sun were responsible? And you thought you'd keep them from moving in on old Nucci operations. Tell me. Jigsaw is... well, he's John Saint. You remember? The guy who killed your family. I know what he did. Thought I'd killed him. Yeah, Claymores kill most people. He lived! but it sent him through a window and shredded his face. So they started calling him Jigsaw. Your attacks on Eternal Sun operations are causing a major shakeup in the organization. Takagi's lost a lot of prestige. Good. Not good. Takagi's losing control, and Jigsaw's taken over. I didn't come here for gossip. Jigsaw wants you dead. A lot of that going around. But Jigsaw's stacking the deck. 
He's planning to hit Stark Industries tomorrow. Jigsaw wants Iron Man technology. Armor, a weapon, or blueprints or something. And he's willing to make a huge hit on Stark to get it. This is big! I'm not on Tony Stark's A-list, but I'll find a way in. Still sweeping the building, sir. Looks like at least 50 guards, 20 scientists, and a few tourists. What were they after? Some blueprints were stolen from design, and several pieces of iron tech armor are missing. And where's the Punisher? I saw him in the middle of things. Missing, sir. We're not sure why he was here. But we do know he was here. Castle knew something. Find out what it was. Yes, sir. There was someone with Castle. Came on the tour with him and left with him. And? Well, sir, he stole some things from the labs. Paper clips, a hole punch, and some scraps of metal. Should I contact the police? I need a drink. Let me get this straight. You and this neighbor of yours, this Sparkler Dave... Backer Dave. Yeah, okay. You two just happened to be taking a tour of Stark Industries when 100 heavily armed Yakuza stormed the building? And why are your neighbors involved in your vigilante activities? Some neighborhood watch program on steroids? With automatic weapons? Dave's a big Iron Man fan. So Jigsaw's Yakuza invade Stark Industries, possibly with your help, kill dozens of Tony Stark's employees, and steal some Iron Tech armor and blueprints? A few of the surviving Stark employees claimed you saved their lives. Your friend Dave isn't saying much, beyond swearing he didn't steal anything. You were there when they hit Stark, you were obviously expecting them, and you went after them hard. How'd you know they'd be there? Vigilante's intuition. Uh, which brings us right back to where we started. Last night, you assaulting the Takagi building. <sighs> Let's talk about that. Greetings, Mr. Castle. I have much to tell you before I depart. Don't plan a long trip. You have reached the heart of my empire. But it is mine no longer. The man known as Jigsaw has taken it away from me. Jigsaw has used us both. You, he has used to weaken the Kingpin's criminal empire. Me, he has used the power I foolishly granted him to advance within my organization, winning over my employees to his purposes. What purposes? To control all crime within New York City and to kill you at all costs. And you know where he is now? On his way to Riker's Island prison, an anonymous tip was placed to the police. Seems to solve your problem. He will not be imprisoned long. Plans are underway to free him. He has won. The Eternal Sun is his. I have a few loyal employees left. But it is your help I seek. Last bullet.
Time to get moving. Still more to do. Takagi's taken care of, but others are harder to reach. Six hours of this and we're right back where we started. Guy, <laughs> you are one uncooperative SOB, Castle. You're welcome. So this is how it ends, Castle? Your enemy's all dead and you stuck here in a prison cell for the rest of your life? Not quite. John Saint's still alive. But he's in prison too. In fact, he's being held right here in Rikers. Yes, he is. You can't be planning. How? The Eternal Sun's not gonna leave him here. When they strike, I strike. You're crazy. This is a maximum security prison. I don't know how you knew this was gonna happen. Stay quiet and stay here with Molly. All hell's gonna break loose. They're gonna free all the inmates and escape in the confusion. What about you? I'm gonna kill all the inmates, and escape in the confusion. You've done the right thing, Soap, all along. Still alive, Castle! I'll fix that! Right after I'm done with you! John Saint. Or do you go by Jigsaw now? 